the world did you uh, come to think of a disc golf course for this? It wasn't my idea. End of a disc have been coming to Chester State Park or and coming to our agency requesting to put in a course here for over 10 years now. Rock Hill is kind of the mecca for this sport. This is where they hold the national championships every year. And uh, they really have a, a large user base within 30 miles of the park. What was there about Chester that, other than its location close to Charlotte that, or, or Rock Hill, that appealed to these folks? Well, you had the park itself, uh, the lake, the layout with the picnic tables, the, the picnic areas, the playgrounds, your boathouse, your nature trails, everything's already here for a good day outside. Uh, it would just it just makes a nice beautiful place you could play disc golf as well and we had the room that we could incorporate in, in into the park that it was not it was right there but it was never actually being used who did all that work uh, we did have a lot of help from uh, some of our other parks in the area whenever they could spare some help but everybody's shorthanded right now so there's a lot of grunt work done by just a few people here in of a sense a course designer to lay out where the holes would be going uh, after that, we actually did the, the, the work ourselves in the house of clearing out the fairways, clearing, clearing out the underbrush, clearing out all the debris from the logging operation that was here before. The terrain is what it is, and that's how we designed the course to actually show off the terrain and the natural beauty of Chester State Park. Who was it who designed this course? One of the designers from Innova Disc Golf, uh, Russell Swartz, designed the course. Russell is at the Innova headquarters in Rock Hill. He's one of their, one of their head designers. What kinds of challenges did you face? That was right thick uh, woods and shrubs and everything when I last saw it. How long has it taken you folks to build this place? We had projected to have it built by June 1st mm -hmm. and it ended up being the middle of October before we got done. So right at eight months. And if I may uh, ask kind of a rude question, who paid for it? Well, we got lucky there too. The state doesn't really have a whole lot of money to spread around for us with the state parks. We were able to get a grant from the Lutz Foundation, a local foundation here in Chester. The family that runs the Lutz Foundation lives just down the road from the park. They have a big interest in all of the city of Chester. They help out several foundations, uh, several organizations, especially the YMCA, the Arts Council, and, and different places in town. They try to help out as many people as they can uh, with a, a real big focus on children and the health of the children and the health of the community in the area. Didn't you say that you actually have two courses over there? Is that right or I'm mistaken? Yes, our facility has an 18 hole course and a 9 hole course. The 9 hole course is what we call the short course. Uh, those holes or those fairways are uh, just under 300 feet. Uh, they have pro and amateur tees, so they are all tournament grade, which is it has to be at least 150 feet. But uh, they're shorter, and we have a, a pro and amateur tee, so it makes it more accessible to people that are really just starting out and never played the game, and it gives them a good feel for it. The 18-hole course is a lot bigger course. We have several holes over there that go over 800 feet. Uh, the first nine of the 18-hole course has uh, pro and amateur tees where it makes it still easier for beginners coming in there and wanting to tackle a bigger course. The back nine on the 18 is, is the big boy course. Those are some big holes with uh, very large and challenging fairways. Do you uh, anticipate holding tournaments here or anything like that? Absolutely. They have several tournaments in the Rock Hill Charlotte area. Uh, again, they have the national championship in Rock Hill every year. The people that designed our course are the people that host the national championships every year in Rock Hill. Uh, and they also have the world championship uh, every so often in the Charlotte and Rock Hill area, if I'm not mistaken. Um, we will be having tournaments here. Right now we're just kind of letting the course kind of green out. Uh, it takes a little while once you build a course, regular golf or disc golf, uh, it takes a little while for it to really season in. Um, but we, we hope to be hosting tournaments here within the next year or two. You mentioned that there's no fee to play this course other than the entrance fee to the park, of course. But, and that's right, isn't it? That's correct. Do people need to make a reservation, have a tea time and all of that? No, sir. We don't do anything like that. 
Uh, you pay your two dollars at, at the gate to come into the park and you can go picnic, you can go fish, you can go play on the playground, you can hike on the trail, or you go play disc golf. Or you can even come camp. Yes sir, we have the campground and we'd be more than happy to have people come there too. Well thank you uh, Park Manager Wells. I certainly appreciate your time on this rainy day. Yes sir.